Welcome to SCS Interiors video featuring how to remove your seat back foam kit for your Cirrus aircraft. There are eight videos in all specific to the removal and reinstallation of seat cover and seat foam products for your Cirrus. Please note this is only a general overview, but the basic principles can be applied to both passenger and crew seats across all generations of seat models. View the entire film before making any effort to remove or install any element. Please review points 1 through 5 below. Most importantly, if you have any questions, please call us at area code 218-728-1614. Materials you may need are 3M's General Trim Adhesive and 3M's General Purpose Adhesive Cleaner. There are three flow rates for the adhesive spray. Please rotate the nozzle to H for high. After spraying adhesive, wait several moments until the glue has warmed to room temperatures before applying foam or upholstery together. Spray both the foam and the headrest with adhesive spray and then press them together. Repeat with the other side. When positioning your headrest foam, ensure the foam is flush with the top of the arc. It is okay if the foam is bigger at the bottom and overlaps. With the headrest now complete, you may begin building the foam structure on your seat back. Remember, a fabric shell called Seekonite encloses the seat frame. The foam adheres to the Seekonite shell. Begin with the base piece and spray the adhesive on the non-beveled flat side of foam only and the seat back's Seekonite liner. Line the foam up with the base of the seat and press gently into place. If you position it incorrectly, you may pull the foam away and reposition as necessary, as the adhesive will allow for repositioning. Repeat this process for the top pieces and two front side strips. Be sure not to spray adhesive on the metal tabs in the proximity of the shoulder harnesses, as that is where the seat belts will slide back and forth. Remember, only the flat, non-beveled side of the foam will be glued to the Seekonite shell.
Spray adhesive on the side foam pieces, the sides of the seats, as well as the sides of the headrest. Place the side foam piece as shown with approximately 2 inches of foam overlapping onto the headrest. Keep the back side of the foam flush with the back of the seat. The front overhang will be cut off. A coping saw, turkey carver, or blade with serrated edge can be used for the next step. Lay the seat on its back and trim away the excess foam following the contour of the seat as shown. 